buddy Justin and my geekling number four down here and me we have our glasses we are hanging out waiting for the eclipse you can't really tell but it's eerily dark I mean it, it it's one of these times it's the middle of the day and you just can't tell that it's there's just a creepy weirdness to the light. Well, how, yeah. how would you describe it? Yeah, I would say creepy weirdness. It's, a, it's not the same weirdness before a big storm, you know how like it gets kind of green yeah, yeah, just yeah. before like a tornado yeah. watch. It's or not whatever. that, I it's agree. It's not that, but it is definitely a unusual, uh, unusual color to the sky. I, I totally to the, to agree. The now, I, I obviously can't show this to you because, but it is, I mean, it is a sliver of sun that is left there is not much left and uh and it's gonna get dark here pretty soon they say it's about uh, eight more minutes to the totality according yeah. to the people on the radio yeah yeah so let me just give you a little tour of where we are this is the airplane that we took to get here here is our fearless pilot our fearless passengers <laughs> our fearless passengers <laughs> and we are in the middle of sumter south carolina we are just on the edge of the path this is uh some sort of random airport that we were furiously scanning the the maps to see where we would get to and here we are uh it's getting darker it is getting darker and i know that it is really hard to see this on the uh on the stream but it is it is it is a weird, weird experience here. They say that during the totality, you could actually experience like as much as seven degrees cooler temperatures. Wow, I had heard something. Well, it does. It definitely feels cooler. It definitely the the air temperature feels cooler than when we took off. Yeah. Right. And, and even though we went south. Even though we went south, and um, like I I had heard that you can see stars during totality, and so I'm looking forward to that. Well, technically, the sun's a star. Some smart aleck in my, in my chat said, the sun is a star, you doofus. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, during the, uh, during the solar eclipse, you might not be able to see that star. That's true. That's a, that is one star we won't see. <laughs> well, well said, baby. <laughs> well said. Props for that. <laughs> And then we just wait. I have somebody watching, but I can't tell who. Um, wow, it has gotten darker in the few past few moments. I, I, I totally think I agree. could see a solar flare. I mean, I don't know. I just see like. It could be my bad vision, but it looks to me like there's a little bit of a. It's getting close. It is so close. So close. There's somebody above us who's actually flying around at like 10,000 feet. You can hear him. Do yeah. you see him? No, you wouldn't be able to see him with such a blue sky. He's too small for such a big, I mean. Yeah, 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 with the wrong contrast. Yeah, I mean, just remember skydivers. Yes, I do, skydivers I do. Skydivers at 10,000 feet. Oh, th this, is, this is another thing. Like, uh, this is the guy who I went skydiving with um, the first time. We were first time skydivers, a long time. Now he, I got married, had kids, and pretty much stopped skydiving, but he continued. How many do you have now? About 2,000. About 2,000. Because I. I also got married. I don't have any kids, but I skydive a whole lot less now that I'm married. Yeah, yeah, that, that happens. Actually, the reason why I'm oh, a pilot... Oh, did you, just, did you just feel it get darker? Yes. I did. The reason why I'm a pilot is because it takes too much time to go skydiving, but I could go get in the sky as a pilot. Oh my gosh, it is just a sliver now. Oh, let me put it on me. There is very, it's come, it's going to be close. We are very close. I think the moon's moving at 24,000, 2400 miles an hour. Yeah, I had, I had read something. Oh man. I mean, you can just see this. The sliver is getting smaller. You can yes. visually see it getting smaller. Yes. Benny, are you looking? Uh-huh. And uh, let me see if you, I mean, look, look around. It is dark. 
Wow, it's nighttime. It is dark. Oh, the, the automatic beacon turned on at the airport because it's so dark. Oh, there is almost nothing left here. It is, it is almost fully occluded. Oh, here it goes. Here I, it goes. I wonder if we're going to get to see like a little ring around it. Yeah, yeah not with these glasses. There, there it goes. It is almost gone. That's gone. Oh, and now... Wow, take your glasses off. Wow. 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 Oh, you can't see. You guys can't see Woo! that. That is incredibly nice. cool. That is so cool. Look how... Mine is really red at the top. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Very red at the top, so... So, like, I'm, I'm trying to... Look at how dark it is. Wow. Look at how dark it is. Wow. Now, that all happens. Like, that's like... The light that's being blocked left seven minutes ago. Yeah. Look, I can see the, I can see a star over There's there. There's a star. Yep, we can see a star right over there. Now, you're supposed to be able to see Jupiter and a couple, I can't, some that other. That might actually be a planet. It's so bright. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's, it's getting close here. You can almost see, imperceptibly see the, the moon move a little bit. That is really, really incredibly cool. Yeah. You can't see anything with the glasses? I can't. I can't, no. Yeah, you can't see anything with the glasses. And look, I mean, my phone makes this look a lot brighter than it actually is. Yeah. I mean, it, well, that means your phone's good. it is dark. Wow. And I'm starting to see a little bit of... I see purple on the... Oh, yeah. Nope, yeah. Oh, it's starting to shine through. Did... Yep, it's 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 ending already. It's ending. We can see a little sliver through the glasses. Oh. I wouldn't be walk, looking at the sun without glasses anymore. But you can just see a little bit of a sliver. Yep. And it's starting to get brighter in the ground. I mean, that was like what two minutes? I don't think it was even two minutes, but I don't know. We are in the northern. We are in the northern part of where this crossed, so we would see it the least, right? Yeah, if we right. got deeper in, it would be longer. Right, Up but two minutes, 40 seconds at the longest point in South Carolina. Yeah. We were headed towards Orangeburg. That was where we would have made it if the weather hadn't messed with us, messed with us this morning. So this is me, me and my boy ridiculously looking up at the sun. <laughs> it hurts my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to lay on the ground? Is that any better? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea then. Okay, let's try this. It doesn't hurt your neck as much. I agree, it doesn't hurt my neck as much. It just might hurt your back, the back of your head a little bit more. But it is definitely over. I mean, it's interesting the the path, or the because the because the sliver sort of left to the the moon sort of like closed up the, off the sliver to the like northwest but it's opening to the northeast yeah. you, you know what i mean yeah. which i did not expect and then it's basically light daylight again around here yeah, it's still that eerie it's color. It's still that, re yeah, you're right, I agree. It's still that weird... Z. Brine, showing up in the chat. And the only madman, how you guys doing? We are in Sumter, South Carolina, and I don't know if you saw, if you saw it earlier, but man, it was weird dark here. We saw it was total eclipse. I could not get a shot of what the actual sun looked like. I mean, it, it was way too, too bright, but it looked like all of those pictures that, you, that you've seen before. There was a sort of weird, um, uh, wispy looking thing, and in the middle of it was a gigantic black hole. It was really cool. It was really cool. Do I own that airport? No, I do not. I do not own this airport, but we are... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that might be cool. I would probably be doing something very different here. We are in Sumter, South Carolina, though. Let me pan around.
That is the vehicle we took to get here. And I'm gonna put my glasses back on. And it's like a pretty significant crescent now. Yep. But this is what I look like. I can't see what I look like because I can't see through these glasses like at all. But I'm sure I look really, really, really good. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, Couch, we did take the plane. We, we flew here. You look like a geek. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get hammered by my son <laughs> on stream. No, but you look like a geek. I am a geek. I know. Wait, I wonder if you put this, these on the... Let, let's, let's give... The, we're going to try a little experiment here that may break my phone, but we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, we're going to turn this around. We're going to put this... Over the lens. Is it over the lens? Uh, let me, it's, yeah, yeah. It's okay, so let's see if we can, I can't see. Yeah, there it is. That, that's pointed at the sun. It doesn't show very clearly the crescent the way you can, the way you can see it in, um, in real life, but, uh, but that's it. Well, I'm going to um, end the stream and spend some time with my friends. This was extremely cool. It was fun. Y'all have a good time. See you later. Cheers.